drink a lot of water, talk to your friends, and just know that this will be ongoing for a long time. And you're not, in, you have some experience with this. Um, and that finally, collaboration is key. And people just use these informal tools to collaborate. Uh, during Haiti, uh, I had like 30 Skype chats, and each one of them maybe with 60 people. All the time I'm going, and some of them I'm monitoring like on the side, I don't really care much, and this is start calling me. And then others I'm like in. And it's like these uh, chat rooms that really coordinated a lot of the work around technology. Oh, we should put this map, you have this database. Yeah, wait a second, I'm branching the code because we have this bug. Da, da, da. And it's all real time. And it uh, also can be very stressful, so it's a matter. Um, and one thing, whenever you're building technology in a situation of crisis, you're dealing with something that can affect the lives of very vulnerable people, a very little tolerance for additional problems. So one thing there's very little tolerance for is people who just do technology because it's fun, because it's cool, right? People were saying, oh, we should do a tool where people can report like their families, etc. And that was going to go into a database and be seen on a chart on the web. How was it going to help the survivors? I have no idea how a chart on the web was going to help those people. Why they would use their credit or their battery to send that message. It was not going to help them. Because there was no information was going to come back. No information was going to be integrated into any database. It was just like a way to get entertained for the rest of the world based on this data. And that is evil, right? You should not do that. So you always have to ask this yourself to always ground it in uh, impact. And I'm about to end. And do we have the next demo ready? Yes. The one hour session. I have a one hour session, but we're splitting it. Okay. Um, egress. And are they here? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I didn't see you. Sorry. Are you ready? Yeah. Great. So um, finally, um, participate in your local community. I think you have experience in this space. So you will be able to tell everybody what are some local communities and Yahoo groups and Google groups. You don't need to read every email. Okay. But if you just get to see what's going on, it will help when the time comes. Um, read and share about crisis technologies. Just Google, see what's happening. Try them out. And if you try them out, show the demo to some other person. And if you actually get the demo working, or if you uh, are able to play with the source code even, see if you can just play to translate a little bit to Burmese. Just not to do the work of translating it to Burmese, but to see if you can. I think it's useful to practice. You know, you have sometimes to exercise muscles even though you don't use them every day because it might come in handy later. Learn the processes of open source. Uh, if you haven't ever gotten the code for an open source project um, and uh, you haven't done, done that practice, I would say choose one and get the source and see the source in your machine, make sure you can open it, see if you can compile it, and then just like change a little thing in a corner and see if you can get a submission done. Um, it's good practice. Again, it's not maybe something you would do every day, but it's good to have those muscles ready for when they're needed. And uh, then something I recommend is just know what's going on in the planet. Um, GDAX.org is a website that uh, sends alerts about volcanoes and flood and other sorts of crisis. And, uh, it's interesting to see the pulse of the one planet that we live in and seeing what's happening on, all over it all, all the time. Um, so I don't have anything more. And uh, do you have any questions or do you want to uh, move to the next session? Just raise your hand if you have a question. Right now. Question, do you know? As long as I don't get, can you please repeat it, but slowly? <laughs> <laughs> no need to. Yes. community and geeks for trying to help. For the affected populations, the best thing you can do, really, is um, to know people in your community physically, know your neighborhood, um, 
you might not be able to communicate with the outside world. If you have trust in your neighborhood, you can share supplies, resources, uh, defense, and uh, that's the biggest resource you're going to do. It's like walking to your neighbor's house is the best technology. It's your sandals. Um, I think this, the second best is um, really to have a go-to for the community. It's a plan. It's just, it could be a piece of paper in a shop, right, or in a clinic or something where people say, yeah, let's, let's just agree on a plan of if something bad happens and who are the contact points and just know the phone numbers of the people ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Bulletin book. A bulletin, a bulletin box, or it could be just a piece of paper on a wall. I mean, just that shared piece of information doesn't need to be digital. If you want to move into electronics, um, the cell phone is the best because it's around. Of course, the system goes down. And then some, maybe having one volunteer per community who knows how to do a VHF radio or ham radio. And I do not know the situation of uh, Myanmar, whether it's allowed or not. Uh, but it is really a powerful thing because it does not rely on a central network operator uh, to work. And uh, I think you will also see now uh, some of the technologies that were built here, or at least are being what were tested here, that um, require at least power, right? So they require battery, but they don't need a central network to operate. And that's why I find it very exciting because I've used technologies that are distributed, they're called meshes, and what you're going to see now is an example of a mesh. Um, I think that's. Pretty much it. Yeah. A good question. Any other questions? Everybody wants to see the demo, you know? Okay, ready? Okay.